Thanks everyone for being here. This is our our first Cristero Chats for Cristero Ray's 25th anniversary year. And we're really just looking for ways to stay engaged with you all since we can't be together in real life. Thanks for joining us. We really, uh, in earnest, kick off uh, a year-long celebration of our 25th anniversary of the story of Cristero Ray Jesuit High School. This is a Chicago story because it took Chicago companies to take a risk on, on this concept that had never done been done before, but it took Chicago families to also take that risk. They took a risk on us. And Bradley Schaefer, the provincial, said, I would like us to serve the Hispanic community in Chicago something in education that the Jesuits can do for the Hispanic people in Chicago. And so, uh, lo and behold, what they wanted was what we do best, uh, a second college prep high school. And so what it turned out that we were doing is we were inviting these students to believe in themselves and to believe they could succeed. I think so much of uh, what we were doing had never been done before. Um, you know, uh, like Judy said in the in the faculty meeting, you know, this is, we're the first ones to, to do this. No, nobody's gotten it right yet. Um, and then the work program was this brand new idea. I mean, there were a lot of people out there that said it's, it's never gonna work. This is definitely the work of the Holy Spirit. I mean, it's, it's amazing. And the reason why I tend to be uh, willing to do something new and adventurous and like, yeah, let's try it out. Why not? It's because I got it from all of you. One of the things that makes me you know, so excited and proud to work with Cristo Rey is really the opportunity for diverse students to go work in corporate America, to see how things work, to interact with people in a corporate setting, to get comfortable, to envision yourself within that space. What I can tell everybody that is listening to us today don't be afraid to be your authentic self. Don't be afraid to come and show why your differences will help somebody else's journey and we can add value. Ultimately, the goal is when you don't have the diversity at every single level in the profession, you have to get more diversity within the profession. So if we're able to introduce them and, and have high performing young talent of color, you're going to have this next generation of students that are going to come in and absolutely change the game. With Cristo Rey, we all started working at the age of 14, and sometimes we overlook that. Um, but you know, now that I think about it, I'm like, I started learning problem solving skills. I started to learn communication skills at a very young age. And that's something that I need to embrace, and I will always embrace. Becoming a woman of faith and being faithful now to me means oftentimes challenging some of the um, some of what has been ingrained in us and some of what continues to be taught. I think as as we see more women positioning positions where their voices are heard, um, we have the opportunity to reshape the narratives. Women are the main leaders and uh, protagonists in the quotidian spirituality. They are the main carriers of the cultural identity and popular religiosity. So we cannot separate uh, uh, faith from culture. Um, so the women are the ones that uh, by war, by example, communicate to the children that God is among us. Having that responsibility and taking on kind of what it means to be um, part of this church and what it means to have a voice in how people see God and see God's love. Um, it's been a great responsibility and also um, a great privilege. One of the components I think of Ignatian volunteerism is a sense of community, um, be it your own community or your, your JV community. Being part of the Christ Ray community, it just is just one of the most positive experiences I have had. I feel like CR, uh, they kind of plant something in you without even knowing about it. Uh, and I feel like the religious component was what they uh, planted the most. So coming back to Christ Ray sounded like a, an amazing thing to do, um, to come serve to students uh, who were once like me. For me, it wasn't until I got to Georgetown in doing a social action project that I realized the importance of the values that I had learned at Cristo Rey, not knowing how they were going to impact me at the time. But now here, you know, years later, um, kind of saying, well, yeah, I am a man for others. I would not trade those two years for 
for anything. It was in practical ways. I feel like the time I spent at Crystal Ray was um, the the greatest training I could have ever hoped for for a, a professional life, almost of any kind. It was amazing. I, I love that kind of analysis of like you you are not the same. You wouldn't have been, become the same person had it not been for Cristo Rey. And I think a lot of us can say that, those of us who are affiliated with Cristo Rey in some way. I am thrilled to be back here with my Cristo Rey family. How do we continue to invest in students learning about these opportunities, right? So either to get a master's degree or to get a doctoral degree, um, because in order to change institutions, we need to have more <laughs> Latinx professionals uh, at this level and also um, at the professor level. When uh, some departments ask me, do you know any incoming freshmen that might be beneficial to working in our office? And I'm like, yeah, but the students from a Crystal Ray Network School, they already have their corporate work program. They understand and they say it's great because they don't have to worry about the training. One of the things that we do through our corporate work study is that they're able to experience different um, communities and uh, different employment opportunities where they really build that confidence about what they're bringing to the table. Only 5% of all colleges in the country have a graduation rate above an 80%. So to get our students into colleges with 94% six-year graduation rate or 91 um, is amazing. We are setting them up to, to graduate and be successful in places that are going to ensure that that happens. And that's part of the reasons why Cristo Rey is so unique here is that as they go on to college campuses, they've sort of engaged with different communities and, and built some of that, that wealth, that mindset. When I talk about Cristo Rey, so uh, how Cristo Rey has to be. <laughs> uh, we have Cristo Rey and we have Arupe. So the Jesuits have uh, something to do with this ministry. The beauty of how Cristo Rey is a perfect perfect moment. It's, this is definitely a moment in the history of, of, of the Encuentro, in the history of Hispanic ministry, is that all of the young people that go through Cristo Rey, they themselves participate in this transformative experience of faith. Cristo Rey um, has become this, um, this place that celebrates the, the people, the students that come here. It is not by coincidence that we currently have an initiative for Hispanic ministry in Cristo Rey because um, we need to inject that fervor to, to our own students to go out there and be agents of change. I think what Cristo Rey is doing is it's precisely opening the door um, to be able to, to bring the gospel, let it become incarnate in the lives of our students so that it's more accessible to the minds of you know, 14 to 18 year old Mexican-American teenagers in Chicago. That's a very particular reality. So I think that's what Cristo Rey is, is, is doing. And honestly, I, I'm just very proud and um, very happy to be a part of it and that Cristo Rey is trying to be part of the solution and a part of the problem. This building is more than a building. So it is really like where uh, students are formed to be citizens of the world. The mural that I created at Cristo Day, it's a little hidden, but I think it's cool. And, you know, people that are able to find it will kind of uh, hopefully feel this idea of, you know, welcoming and this sense of, you know, belongingness with the Virgin. I mean, there's also obviously beauty in being able to see young folks or even older, older folks um, see themselves in a very large way or in a large format piece. Um, in a way that they, they haven't seen or haven't seen themselves celebrated. So I, I personally appreciate it and enjoy doing it. I also believe that like, you know, our work has a way of, you know, telling a story. And that's basically what you guys have done here at Chris Ray. You've incorporated your own views along with the views of Chris Ray. You guys brought this vision together. So that's amazing. Art can, can translate and be able to tell that story of a struggle um, better than, you know, just kind of reading an article you know it's it captivates people a little bit more and it it's um a way for to grab people's attention and if we could use that um you know vehicle to you know basically move a certain message across and and try to promote you know positivity then for sure yeah we'll do it thanks everyone for being here today this was a great conversation thank you for this this was a lot of fun i do believe this is only the beginning 
right, of the conversation. Gracias, muchas gracias. Each one of those questions that we tried to address today could be a course at CTU or could be a course at Dominican. And so what we tried to squeeze into a short amount of time um, is a lot, but I, I want to thank you. Everything just goes back to Cristo Rey as well. So I'm really grateful. Thank you so much and thank you for, for sharing your story. We know it takes a village and so it's great to see the village present today. I'm bowled over. I'm bowled over. What, what expertise, what enthusiasm, what wisdom. The world is a better place because of what you're doing and uh, God bless you. COVID has changed all of us in a lot of different ways and it's going to continue to change us. But I just want to reassure everyone on this call that we are here to stay and we're going to grow and it's because of you that we're able to do everything that we can do for the students that we educate. So thank you.